Thanks, Dick and Ed. I'm Johnny Bench, retired baseball player. You know, like everyone, I've caught World Series fever, too. And now that I've become a dispassionate, unbiased observer, I consider myself qualified to give an unbiased, dispassionate account of the 1984 season. Forget the pennant races, the batting races. That's for the sports writers and broadcasters to describe. Here are the real highlights of the season from the retired side of things. Everyone likes to get off to an explosive start. And on opening day, some did with the very first pitch. Pretty risky or risque business, though. Especially with starter Rebecca DeMornay on the mound. The object, of course, was to get in sync. Some sink, while others sunk. Or is that sank? But for most, it soon became a game of give and take. Give one away, and same player now, take it away. Early in the year, many fans witnessed a no-hitter. A little later, other fans witnessed a no-catcher. Some stumbled far and wide to try to get a baseball. Oiled again. Others ranged far and wide only not to get rid of a baseball. As for great efforts, how's this for reaching above and beyond the call of duty? Or this for a backhanded compliment? Or this for double teaming on defense? As for the bank shot of the year, hard to beat this one. this for the most uplifting throw of the year. As for souvenir of the year, try to calculate the odds on this one. A foul pop in Anaheim falls through the hands of a despondent fan. But on the very next pitch, another one slips past one fan, straight down to, that's right, the exact same fan who missed the first one show no matter how you stretch it or score it 84's been a trip if you ask me it looks like some of those guys are ready for retirement right now but seriously I'd say the game appears to be getting along all right without me so far at least